Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a really cool tool called the Perspective Warp Tool. So I've got a few different examples open as well. For our first example, we've got this 3D object in perspective. And as a preparatory step, I'm just going to cut it out of the background because warping it is going to warp the background as well. This one happens to be on a plain background, but yours might not. So a quick way to select an object like this is just going to be the object selection tool. I'll just click select subject. It does a pretty good job for what we're trying to do. So I'll layer via copy it onto its own layer and I can just have it on a blank background. So if you go to edit, perspective warp is in this edit menu. And when you click it, it opens up this perspective warp toolbar on the top. And the first thing we want to do is create our layout. So we can start by creating a rectangle grid on one side and I'll simply take the four points of this rectangle and put them in the corners of our first face or side and you see it automatically puts it in perspective so you can do a little bit of adjusting whatever you need and then the next thing I'm going to do is click and drag on the other face and you'll see if I snap one side to the other side it'll automatically snap these are called quad shapes and I can do the same thing, just pull the other side in, pull the other corner where it needs to be. And then lastly, I can make my last side and pull all the sides in where they need to be. So now I've got my object laid out and in the top toolbar, I can switch over now to the warp section and I can begin pulling on these points and it'll begin warping our object in perspective. So it might take a little bit of loading but you see, this is almost like magic. We're changing the perspective of the viewing angle of this object, which can be great for if you are trying to place this object inside of a different photo for perspective. If you ever go too far, you always have this remove warp button to take you back to the original section. You also have a couple other buttons like this one, which is align all the vertical lines that kind of straightens things out. You can also align all, all the horizontal lines, but that'll kind of flatten the perspective. So just the ability to change the point of perspective is really cool with this tool. I'm, I'm kind of spinning this cube around, even though that wasn't the original perspective that it came in. Once you're done with your adjustment, you can press the check button and then you have your adjusted figure. So you can literally kind of spin and play with the perspective of objects like this. Another example you can do is, let's say we have a building picture like this. I can go to Edit, Perspective Warp. I can make my first plane here and kind of put it in perspective. It doesn't exactly, we can't exactly see where this building finishes, but I can kind of guess based on the lines. And then I can do the other side of the building as well. I'll snap it to this end and I can kind of just follow the lines here. And for this adjustment, one thing I can do actually is hold shift. That'll allow me to highlight the actual lines rather than just the points. And I can move this whole line around, not just one point. And you can see I can shift the perspective of this image one way or the other. We're kind of moving the whole curb. And I can change the other points still if I wanted, if I wanted to make it more like just this side of the building or something. Now, when you when I do something like this, I will have to keep in mind that I've warped the entire image. And so I might need to then crop into this image or scale it up. So this might just be a different perspective than our original image. Um, I'm not saying this looks better, but there might be times where you do need to change certain perspectives or you want to straighten out a certain side of a building. And you do have those options. Lastly, you can also do this to place text in perspective or other objects, let's say on a billboard. Uh, let's say actually I had this shape. If this was a smart object or a rasterized layer, I can go to perspective warp. I can create my grid around this shape. And then I could go to warp and I could simply put the four corners where they need to be. Now, I would also recommend you check out my tutorial on Vanishing Point. It's another really related tool to this. That's in Filter Vanishing Point. I have a whole separate tutorial on this. 
This is another tool that you can use to place things in perspective on your images that's kind of related to the perspective warp. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, this was the puppet warp, definitely check out the vanishing point tutorial I have for similar ideas and effects. My name is Justin Odisho. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.